hair loss. Most of us don't even want to think about it, but it's a problem that's really hard to ignore. Nearly two out of three men and two out of five women will be affected by hair loss by the time they're 60. So what causes so many of us to lose our dues, man? Lots of things can spur hair loss, from illnesses and medications to primping habits. But the most common cause is androgenic alopecia, or male and female pattern baldness. This leads to defective hair producing follicles on the scalp that lose their ability to function over time. They begin producing thin hair, or for men, eventually, no hair at all. Most can thank their parents for that hair loss. Pattern baldness is largely genetic. The primary baldness gene is found on the X chromosome, which comes from the mother. But don't blame it all on mom, other factors can come into play as well. Studies have also found that men with bald fathers are more likely to go bald themselves than those who don't. The good news for those who like to style their hair or wear hats is that hair products and head coverings won't cause balding. Neither will shampoo, washing your hair too much, or dandruff. But you should be careful with teasing combs and hair irons. Overusing these could speed up that process. So hair loss may be inevitable for many of us, but you can make sure to get the most out of those lovely locks by maintaining a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. Melanocytes form and create melanin in hair follicles. Melanin is a pigment cell and is responsible for all that color. Melanocytes hang out right at that point of the skin where...